There is no way in hell your competitors are doing this. No way. No way. In this video, I'm going to explain the four steps you have to take before you create any page or article to rank above your competitors. I'm going to show you how to steal their content and know what they're writing about so you can create something better. Who are linking to them and how to steal, it's all about stealing here, steal their backlinks so you can sneak through and try to get some links to your new page. A very simple, free and easy way to see what keywords are the pages of your competitors ranking for. So you can get some of them in your page an easy way to find what people are looking for in forums like Quora and stuff. I might show you one more free tool. Google takes into consideration what the content of your page is and if it aligns with the intention of the user when they search in Google. So the first step is the scraping method. Throughout this video I'm going to use as an example a keyword that is where to buy property in Spain, but it can be done for any keyword, any business. With the scraping method, what you want to do is to download this extension called SEO Minium. The links, all the links of everything are in the description. Once you've downloaded the extension, the Chrome extension, I want you to go to Google search and search for your target keyword. Once you do that, you're going to see a box here that gives you the ability to copy all the organic URLs you see here. So I want you to press go and then you have them copied. Next, you can see this SEO template. I created this template for my first YouTube video and you can use it too for this video. You can download it in the description. I want you to go to the on page tab and paste all the links you have copied from here. Once you've done this, delete and just keep the first 10, 12 positions. So now that you have the top 10, 15 competitors, that rank in the keyword that you want to target. You're going to copy these URLs on the top part. Now that you have them all in line, we're going to go one by one in each of the pages and quickly scan them to see what they're talking about. Let me show you an example of this. If we go to the first one, no, I don't want to chat. I'm making a video. Have a look at their titles and just copy them. Go back and copy them. Do the same with all of the titles and also if you find anything relevant that might not be part of the title you can add it too. Now let's go with the second website. As you can see this one is a different example from the first one. The first one was targeting the specific keyword but this one is part of a broader or what I called in my first video king keyword. Even though this one is not targeting specifically you can get a lot of content here that might be relevant for your article. That's exactly what we want to do. We're trying to see what your competitors are talking about and we want to create something better. The best way to do this is to have a clear idea in your screen of the content of your competitors. Once you've done this, it's so much easier for you to have a look and see patterns of things that you must add because they're all adding it or things they're not talking about and not adding because if you add it to your article, it's going to be more valuable and more relevant and therefore rank over them. You can start to write the ideas of what your article is going to be about. In my case, I can see that a relevant pattern here is that most of them are ranking properties best by types. So I will write here, rank best by types. So now it's a step number two. You know you can learn more SEO for free with my newsletter. What I'm going to do is add in all the SEO resources, articles and videos I have used to learn SEO that week myself. And I add them, and I add them, and I add them to this newsletter for you to learn. Now what we're going to do is from these 10 URLs, the top competitors, we're going to put them through a tool that tells you what keywords their articles or pages are ranking for. The way this is going to help you is to get a better idea of what Google is deciding that these articles are relevant for and add them in your article tool. You have to create a free trial, no, not a trial, a free account, because it's not a trial, on moss.com. So what you want to do now is go to explore by site and you can see here that we can copy. Let's go for the first competitor. 
you have to make sure that it's exact page and in the country you are targeting in my case united kingdom and analyze let's see let's see oh that was fast as you can see here the top ranking keywords for this page with the actual position and the search volume here you can see that i could add specific part about not just property in general but holiday properties so i take this keyword and i add it to what my page content is going to be after these two steps you should know exactly what your competitors have in their page and they're talking about and what they are ranking for with this page and with all this information you can mold and create your super article okay now we're gonna get a little technical in the link building part what you want to do now is to use a link building tool that is going to tell you what websites are linking to your competitors why you want to do this because we're going to steal their backlinks to backlinks the backlinks <laughs> their backlinks too so we're going to see what websites are linking to them why so we make sure that we add this content in our article because if people are linking to it that is quite an effort for people to do that it means it's definitely relevant and secondly because we want to contact these people once we have this super article we're going to contact these people like hey you know have a look at my article this tool is a free backlink checker let's go back to our sheet copy the url and paste it again exact url check backlinks let's see let's see i wrote we can see here i want you to have a look at this number that this website has 24 referring domains linking to it if we have a look at the first one you can see the website that linked to it the seo power of it and where exactly is the link what we want to do first is to see why the link to our competitor so we can for example copy this part of the text go here here control f and search for that and there it is so in this case you can see that they link to him to them because of an image if we go to a, another competitor for example i'm not a <laughs> let's look at the first article property wire you can see here that they link to the competitor because of data adding data to your article is something that could get you backlinks when someone is writing something for them they always want to back it up with data so if they search for it in google and your website appears they will use it and hopefully give you a reference with what i saw i should add stats and perhaps an image or an infographic what i could do here when i write the article is to recheck this data if it's up to date and if it's not i update it once i do i can contact this website and tell them about it and perhaps they will include this new data in the article and put a link to me so it's two for one you're doing a content research this is what it's called to see what your page has to be about but at the same time once it's done you're going to have people to contact. So now you have a solid, solid, solid base for your article, but I'm gonna give you two million tips that again, no one is doing. I want you to find a big website, like a forum with questions. In my example, I'll use Quora.com. And I want you to type site, colon, semicolon, or two point, I don't know how to say it, Quora.com and space and then i want you to put the keyword you're targeting this is what is called a search command there are a lot of search commands i'm not going to get into it but in the future i will so make sure you follow me if you want to what was that there are a lot of pages or questions in quora that people are asking if people are asking for it you want to add it to your article here there could be a quite interesting thing should i buy commercial property so as you can see here, I'm pretty sure that none of my competitors are talking about commercial property. So that's something I could add. And finally, you might have realized that there is a box with questions. There is a free tool that gives you all the questions in this box because now you see four, but then you press and now you see six. And if you press, you see more and it multiplies. So you can't just be pressing and looking. So this tool gives you all the keywords within that box. So Oh, thank you, Google. Best place to buy in Spain. Language, country, search. I'm not a robot. Thank you. In this case, it didn't have... Oh, my God. Have a look at this. As you can see here, where is the cheapest place to live in Spain? 
I will write here in what my actual page content is going to be about. Types cheapest. This four or five, I don't remember, step technique has helped me to outrank competitors that seem impossible. For example, property taxes in Spain, number one, with another client, how to join a football academy, number one, is also an article, or how to hire a car, again, another client, in this one I'm number three or so, there I am. So this thing works. What I want to do on my YouTube is to explain useful things that I use myself with my clients and therefore they absolutely work for free to you. So you can do it whether you're a business owner, you can make sure your business grows in Google or you're an SEO like me that you can learn new and valuable things. Oh yeah, by the way, um, if you're a business owner and this seems too difficult for you, <clears throat> uh, you know who to call. <laughs> Having said that, thank you for watching. <laughs>